Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie. Welcome to my channel where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So today I want to talk to you guys about being broke but still being blessed. So definitely since November, I've talked to you guys about this a lot, is that my life has been in a transition. At one point I could not get a steady job from November until like February, March, I was not getting a steady job. I was not having steady income. And during that time, I had to really, really deeply be satisfied with where I am in, in my life and in that storm. And to be super grateful for the little things that I had. Meaning that even though I wasn't making this great amount of money that I was making before, my fridge was always stocked with food. Even though I wasn't making a lot of money, I still was always, I always looked good. I always, you know, made sure that my, my clothes were clean for the most part and that I always got a hot shower. I never went hungry. I can, I was always paying my rent. Was I paying it on time? Huh? But I was always paying my rent. And we have to understand that just because you are broke, or in waiting of financial abundance does not mean that you are not blessed it just means that at this moment and in this season the finances just are not a hundred percent there and I think that as young adults and I think as humans in general if you don't come from um, you know no I think that as humans in general we think about money a lot because you need money to survive and and that's why a lot of us have negative connotations or negative attachments to money because when you don't have money everything looks bad or sometimes when you do have money everything looks bad but we can't look at money like that like you know i always say money is energy in order to receive it you need to give it and you need to feel good about it because at the end of the day sometimes it's better to have money than to not have money right but being broke but still being blessed just means being deeply grateful for what you do have because someone else is always, 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 always worse off than you. And you just got to kind of be in the present moment and be be present in where you are no matter what. And, and always, no matter what your present situation looks like, it is so temporary, it's not even funny. So while you are in this really temporary situation are you going to like be you know negative and worry and be filled with anxiety and anger about where you are or are you just going to go with the flow because when you just stop and look around at all the things that you're blessed with you and you count your blessings you know it doesn't really matter it, like it, it it puts into perspective what really matters and what what feels good to have you know it's like when you do get money most of the time it's gonna be gone it's either gonna be stuck like stashed away in a savings account or you're gonna spend it like on something else so it's just like why why be why be upset if you if you don't have it just be happy with where you are be happy with where you are be and if you can't be happy then just be content if you can't be content try try to be satisfied with where you are and just take it one day at a time take it one day at a time take it one moment at a time and know that your present situation is so temporary to be broke but to be blessed and I really had to un I had to be humbled and I had to really understand that like I was when I was making more money I was sometimes forgetting to say thank you God for this meal thank you God for the breath in my lungs thank you God for my eyesight and all I was thinking of was like gotta buy this I gotta get this I gotta give money to this person gotta do this gotta do that and it's like it was almost a blessing it was a blessing for me to not have you know a great amount of money coming in coming in because it humbled me to see all of the true blessings that i have around me and that is a good 
that that builds a type of character because it's like when large sums of money come into your life or when large sums of money will come into my life how am i going to act when it comes i need to be able to remember these moments of humility and these moments of 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 um not having not having the ability to buy whatever i want so that when i do have the ability to buy whatever i want i will still have that you know what Thank you for this money. I'm not going to blow it away. I'm not going to be boastful. I'm going to make sure that I do right with it. You know, so understand that if you're in a situation where you are like broke, you're looking at your account, you got $2, or you're just like, dang, okay, this check, and then this check, and I'm going to bring this, and I got money coming from here. If you're in that situation, be good with it because it is building you up to be grateful for what you will have for the abundance and the prosperity that you will have it is building character okay it is building it is building tenacity for you it is building strength in your own ability and it is building faith in god that no matter how much money you got in the bank you still are getting a you still got a meal right you're not homeless right you're still you still look fly right you can still take your selfies right we are two three four five six dollars in your account you can still you're still alive and that is that is grace and that is favor so that is what i was understanding during my time of brokenness which i'm still kind of in but hopefully i'm about to leave and um that's what i understood was like be be humble and be grateful in what you have right now you know like honor the small things honor them honor it honor where you are i thank you guys for tuning into this episode of beanie tv and if you are broke do understand that you are blessed have faith know that it's all temporary and because it's temporary be glad in it forget it be glad in it like why why would you be why would you be mad I used to be so mad at some things in my life and I would just I wouldn't understand why things were happening to me the way that they were happening or, or why I didn't have this I, I, I'm this awesome person why can't I have this and I had to understand that I was being built up I was being disciplined I was being strengthened and sometimes like that's just how it has to be sometimes you just got to get beat up a little bit to to know how strong you really are so thank you guys and I'll see you guys next video.